I wanted to share with you one of my favorite hacks, tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it, to make your vitamin C, specifically L-ascorbic vitamin C, work even better, supercharge your vitamin C to give you the most glowy, radiant, most amazing skin that you have ever had. Now, I didn't come up with this hack on my own. I learned it from watching a couple different dermatologists, and so I've been testing this out over the past couple years. And I've gotta say, even though I'm getting older, I'm 51 years old now, I feel like my skin is getting better and better and better as the years go on. And this vitamin C hack that I've been doing in my skin for quite a while now, I feel like it's been a major game changer in the health of my skin and the glow and the radiance in my skin. All right, so this is the vitamin C serum that I like to use, but you can use whichever vitamin C serum you like. Again, this hack works specifically if you have an L-ascorbic acid vitamin C serum. So just look on your ingredients and see if it says L-ascorbic, and then you'll know if this hack might work well for you. I won't make this all technical, but basically vitamin C serum, it's an acidic type product and it works best in our skin and it penetrates best and it goes to town and gives us the best benefits of brightening those dark spots and helping with collagen production and giving us that beautiful glow and radiance at a lower pH when our skin is uh, more acidic. And most of us wash our face first and then we usually put on our vitamin C. But most of us are using tap water and tap water has you know a higher pH. So I've read a lot of different medical journals where a lot of dermatologists say, oh, you need to wait at least 20 minutes after after you wash your face before you would use your vitamin C serum because the pH of your tap water is too high so your vitamin C serum is not gonna really work properly it's not gonna be able to penetrate instead of waiting 20 minutes I mean who has 20 minutes to wait after we wash our face in the morning before we start putting on our vitamin C instead of using a regular cleanser why not use an acid cleanser but a gentle acid cleanser not one of those intense acid cleansers that are gonna strip your skin barrier and make your face feel raw but this is one of my absolute favorite acid face washes for the morning, specific for more mature skin, and specifically if you deal with hyperpigmentation and melasma. Because if you follow any of my other videos on melasma, you will know that we want to do things that are gentle to our skin. So yeah, I wanna use actives that are gonna help fade my hyperpigmentation and melasma, but I can't just go ham on my face and try to strip all of this melasma off because all that's gonna do is trigger a bunch of inflammation and trigger even more hyperpigmentation and dark spots and melasma. So I want to use things that are very, very gentle. This is by the same brand as this. This isn't sponsored or anything, by the way. I did purchase these with my own money. I think I bought like 10 of these, and this is probably my third or fourth <laughs> of these. This is fragrance-free, and this is a very gentle acid that is in here. Now, I don't use it every single morning. I like to rotate with my cleansers, but on the mornings that I do use my vitamin C, I do like to use this cleanser. And then after I rinse it off, I know I can immediately go in with my vitamin C, and my vitamin C is going to be supercharged and work even better than if I didn't use a low pH cleanser like this. Any dead flakies or anything that was kind of like stuck together on my skin, preventing my next products from penetrating, this helps loosen it up. So now my vitamin C serum can absorb even better and give me this beautiful, healthy glow. It's going to help fade my hyperpigmentation and melasma even better. It's gonna help build my collagen and all of those wonderful things that we all use vitamin C serums for. And one other thing I wanted to add, I cannot use just any old L-ascorbic vitamin C acid either. I have tried so many different ones on the market. This does not irritate my skin at all. But there are some that I've tried that just burn my skin. So if you are like me and you have had major issues with vitamin C serums and they burn your skin, they irritate your skin, or they cause acne, that's what most of them have done for me. So I shied away from L-ascorbic vitamin C serums for so many years and I would use derivatives like the THD, which I do really enjoy. But I've never felt like I get as intense brightening results or plumping results and I don't feel like 
any of the other ones fade my hyperpigmentation and melasma as well as the true active form of vitamin C, the L-ascorbic acid does. So that's why I was determined <laughs> to find an L-ascorbic acid serum that did not irritate my skin. And this one by Neostrata, this is my go-to vitamin C serum. This is the one I highly recommend if you do have hyperpigmentation and melasma, and if you really want to have that beautiful glow to your skin. This is one that you might want to look into because I have never, ever, ever had irritation with this. That's why I love this one so much because it is so good and of course it doesn't break the bank so let me know are you one of those people who you just splash your face with water and then go in with your vitamin C serum maybe just maybe you might want to try this little technique to use an acid cleanser first before you put on your vitamin C serum and see if that makes a difference in your vitamin C serum working even better of course just remember I am NOT a doctor I am NOT a dermatologist even though I do get a lot of my tips and tricks from different doctors or dermatologists. It doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. Of course, I'm only sharing what works great for me. So before you try any of these things on your skin, make sure you talk to your doctor or dermatologist to know what would work best for your skin. If you are struggling with melasma and you wanted to know what affordable products and what steps and what order to apply your skincare products for melasma and hyperpigmentation, AM and PM, I will pop that video up here if you wanted to click on it and check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.